You two, welcome. Sante Mine here from Kilo Bastards. Happy 2019. It's a new year. We've got some new toys, some new ideas, and some new videos coming up. Sit back, uh, enjoy the intro, and I'll see you in a minute for the uh, first video of 2019. Excellent. Here's going to be a video. Tonight we're going to be doing a lot of stuff around Itemi. Uh, big topic of using our Gila community. Some people say it's 9% like Itemi, some schools don't do any Itemi. Most people seem to agree that Itemi was a very important part of my Kilo, but not many people actually practice it. I mean that, I mean actually drilling it with pads and stuff like that. It's all very well doing notional Itemi, but if you don't hit someone properly and don't practice it, it disrupts their movement and more importantly it affects how you deliver the technique. Uh, so we're going to do a couple of drills, some basic traditional stuff, no pads, how a lot of the schools train, which isn't bad, but then take it to the next level, because it's all very well practicing hitting like that. But unless you actually hit a pad, hit someone for real, you're not going to know how that affects your body. So we're going to do those techniques with a little bit of a pad work, a little bit more uh, gusto, shall we say. So anyway, hope you enjoy them. Hi, I'm Paddy. This is Kota Gash from Room Dory. Changes not only how the boot came respond, but actually how you position yourself. So we can save the same technique, Mark's going to grab it, Mark's going to wrap it around, and make it work. Take, elbow in, pull the arm, straight in. Bring it down nice and slow. And, uh, that so stay on the same side, and your brain's a bit down. So from the grab, Okay. This is going to be static, I'm going to punch me off and start doing something, I'm going to right me around. Hands up, take, my hands up for guards, so come straight in, down, and strike there. Now, normal to do, okay, so rather than going hand over, I'm going to pull his elbow underneath. So my coat again should come by pulling his elbow towards me. He goes down from there, and pin that way, his arms out, so goes straight into a straight up pull. Key difference is to this one. Code guess normally we do the little hand goes over the arm. Same position, I'm pulling the elbow forward into it to make the code guess come on there. That's what makes it slightly different. I'm getting to that position because there's his arms up there. Elbow down, in, take his arm there. He's in a pretty bad place. And then go for over the pin. I want to go for how I want to do it. There's a whole host of options you've got. Doesn't really matter. Part up to some time. Okay. Hi, I'm Paddy. This is Kathy Katami from Yokomen. Striking, taking high. 
high, make it a little burst, actually coming round, coming up. You can cut the back of the head, I prefer to cut the shoulder, down. To finish, I retrain, grab this face. Go. Right, we're going to take that, take that drill, we're going to move on to get, put some of the temi in uh, and make it meaningful for the temi because it changes the whole dynamic of that attack. The Ockerman is not a very street attack, uh, similar to a haymaker type punch. So, a haymaker is marked as a haymaker with my hand, it's that sort of move. It's not a tight hook, it's a big swing punch from there. So, we're going to move that, part of the big haymaker, and then. The other side, nice and slow. So, there's my target. As Mark comes in, the same way, coming straight in, nice little punch. Mark grabs me to the bottom of me, wherever it happens. Cut down, knee, however I want to finish it. However I want to do it. One more time. Again, the key part is that attempt. We're very used to doing lots of, Mark comes in with the other one, lots of little tending like this. Not really used to hit the target with the power. We used to get used to doing that. So as it comes in, I'm coming in, <laughs> straight in, trying to take it over, hook, and then go for whatever I want to finish from there. Whatever I want to do. It doesn't work for me. Farmer up, so a little bit fun. Go. Rumanagi from Jay Lansky. comes in, I'm avoiding, and next to thing, take his balance and two hands up and over. Lovely, the last thing we're going to do, uh, same principle, uh, doing a ribbing entering technique, again, with a bit of a temming, changing the dynamic for So, Mark's going to come in, there. All I'm doing is cut in, slip in, and in. There's my over image. Not a naggy, but I've got him, nice little throw there. If I wanted to throw him, I would just take my over. Image. So, again, nice and slow. As Mark's showing that punch, I'm moving off the line, and as soon as I'm in contact with that one, I'm going straight in. Okay, get my side. And I'm leaving my hand forward to take it from there. Got Mark trapped there, nice and tight, even in a bad place. If Mark retracts his hand, he can still do stuff. If Mark comes in, he retracts his hand, can't get a man in. My thumb just happens to be a nice place in his throat. And he goes down like that. One last time, so. That's what I'm going to do. As he comes in, that's what I'm doing. I'm flipping off my jab, moving in, and leaving that hand to come in and take. And I've got all the damage. Nice and here, here. I can take. Whatever I want to do, it's all over. Last one for the night, a little blade, I want to move on from there. 